wanted to show you some settings in Google Forms that can make this a lot easier in your work. What you do is you go up here to this little cog button next to the send button. We're going to click on that. It gives you a settings window. And um, under general settings, the first option is if you want to collect email addresses. And what that basically means is once a person fills out your form, they would get an email, an automated email response of what they just filled out. So this can be helpful if your form is longer and they want to try and remember what they filled out. That can be really helpful. So if you want people to get an emailed summary of uh, what they filled out, you can mark that. Just be sure that on your form you do have a required um, email field uh, for people to fill out so Google knows where to send this summary to. Um, one thing to note too, you should always change this in the settings, is that it defaults to restricting to NDSU users. So basically what that means is if you don't uncheck that box, people who go to fill out that form are going to be required to sign into Google Forms using the NDSU Google Apps for Education. Now we know that a lot of our audiences that we send forms to are not NDSU employees. So in that case, we want to uncheck this box. If for whatever reason you want to limit it to one response, you can certainly do that here. And if you want the ability to have them to edit after they submit the form, they can certainly do that. And if you want respondents to see how other respondents filled out the form, you can check this option right here. Next, in presentation, there's a couple of things that you can choose. Um, if you want to show a progress bar, um, particularly if your survey is somewhat long, progress bar can let people know how, fast, uh, how long they are under the survey. Um, it just shows a little graphic of how far along, whether they're like a quarter way, halfway, or so forth. If you'd want to shuffle the question order, you have that option. Or if you want um, to have them have the ability to submit another response, you can have them do that too. But what I want to bring to your attention here is this confirmation. It's just kind of a generic default. It just says your response has been recorded. Well, anytime I help people with Google Forms, I always try to tell them to make this a little more personable or um, have a call to action or have somebody they can contact after they fill out this form. So, for instance, when Sue in Bar Co uh, Barnes County was doing a bunch of 4-H um, forms uh, and um, event registrations, I told her to just put something in here. If you have any questions, contact Sue at Barnes County, and we put a phone number in there. So it just makes it a little bit um, easier for them to contact you in case they do have questions. And then you'd use that save option right there. So those are some of the settings that you can choose in Google Forms.